Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your April 2021 reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to tap into the general energies for the month. The card of take action. You're, you've Quite a few signs got that win. And ouch, hostilities. What are we mad at? Contracts. Wait a minute. Somebody else got these three cards, I believe. It was hostilities, contract, and I think action. I don't remember who else got it, but if I do, I will link it here. Um, darn it. I cannot remember. Maybe cancer so you may be dealing with a cancer I, if i remember who who had the sim, same cards or similar cards i will link it here but a few signs already got these cards and you are my last reading for the day and i have shuffled my cards several times so you've got the card of action seeing things for what they are black and white taking action moving forward uh, hostilities, you know, having your defenses up, ready to, ready for a fight, no matter what. If you're trying to get out of a contract, I see you taking action to get out of a contract, especially at work. Okay, this is so weird because I had this same reading. I want to say it was for cancer. So you may be dealing with a cancer or you may have cancer in your chart. And there is cancer, as I said that. However, you have the sun here, so things will work out for you. You may be partnering up with the cancer as well. Jesus, the tower card and the moon has to follow the sun card. What gives? Okay, let me move this up for you guys to see better. So try to get out of contracts. Uh, breaking contracts. Contracts meaning, you know, work, finances, uh, feeling like you're getting ripped off or, you know, someone taking advantage of you. Uh, I also feel like you feel like you didn't sign up for this. Feeling bound to some sort of contractual agreement. Also, there may be somebody here who's getting out of their marriage. That type of agreement, a contract, right? You're just at this point of, you know, I've done all this work, but I feel like it's not getting me anywhere. I'm also hearing, like, say you work in, in, in a particular industry where you provide a service and you're doing all the hard work. There is already a contract, but somebody's not holding up their end of the bargain, right? They leave a deposit, for, you know, but then they don't pay the, the balance in full for services rendered. And you're just like, nope, we're banning you. We're blocking you. You can no longer come in. We're, you know, we're not going to finish the job for you because you failed your, to hold up your end of the bargain. And I feel like they're going to turn around and hold it against you. Like blame you for not following through. In reality, I feel like somebody's not holding up their end of the bargain. At the end of the day, it feels like... <sighs> It feels like somebody here is digging their heels in and escaping the responsibility of their part of this contract, right? At the end of the day, I feel like you will come out of this okay. And you have another major arcana at the bottom of the deck with the death car starting over, walking away from contractual agreements, person, places, things, relationships, partnerships that do not serve you, that are not for your highest good. Give me a card for the hostilities, please. What gives? Uh-huh. Going to court. You got to fight a battle up ahead. Getting out of these contractual agreements. Some of you, it may be child support or... You know, you've you've given birth to a new idea. You decided to sign up somebody close to you, a friend, a family member as a business partner. It was like your baby. You nurtured this idea and, you know, somebody offers to, you know, give you the financial footing and then like they kind of pulled back and you're in debt and now you look like the bad guy, a bad girl, the person, whatever. Some of you, again, it could be going through a divorce, separation, having to deal with, um, alimony, child support, feeling like no matter how much you tried to make something work, it was never good enough for this person. And so at the end of the day, you were just like, enough is enough. I give, you you win, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go offer my heart, my love to someone that appreciates it. <laughs> yeah, so divorce, separation. Uh, someone here may have also cheated. Uh, there may also be like kind of like a love child scenario here. I've gotten that energy for a few signs, which is weird. What are you guys up to? 
Aren't we all supposed to be on lockdown? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No judgment. I'm just teasing you guys. So let's move on to that seven of swords, the tower and the moon. What you don't see coming is somebody here may be pulling a fast one on you. Well, now you see it coming because I just told you. Be prepared. Expect the unexpected, right? I feel like you'll walk away with some of the household fortune, money, assets. Um, at the end of the day, this sun card, along with the fortune and the the you know the consolation prizes, the the jewelry, the stability, all of this that comes into play, the riches is what it feels like, right? The the tangible items. I feel that is yours. It does. It does throw everything a, a wrench in your plans upside down. You need to be careful because I feel like this person can get pretty uh, aggro, like very aggravated, especially when drinking, very harsh uh, energy. If they were in the military, I'm hearing dishonorable discharge. Now, this is kind of like that same card, right? Like the Seven of Swords. This is someone escaping like you know, in the military camp, escaping with someone's swords and only leaving them with two so that they're not ready to battle. They shortchange them here. And the military card coming out in reverse, that's what they plan on doing. It's like being your enemy. You don't realize that even though you may trust them, you may have a certain degree of trust, even though you're giving them the benefit of the doubt, like they would never hurt you that way. Be prepared for the unexpected. I unfortunately hear that, okay? So if the, you may also be dealing with someone who's not just in the military, but maybe they're like an officer, an officer of the court, a police officer. They come across as highly responsible, dedicated, um, and you're the crazy one type energy take your notes they really really are watching everything you do so if you go out with friends family members going out to brunch hanging out with people drinking inviting friends over i feel like they got eyes on you okay they're trying to use it against you in court just an fyi so shut those curtains shut those blinds all right one more card for the seven of swords yeah see it's drinking it's celebrating a win just be careful be one step two steps five steps ahead of this person oh yeah yeah okay tell me about this tower moment please you feel like your hands are tied you're not able to move forward the way you want to i think you have what it takes to do so but you are afraid this person has a lot of influence over you over the court system over the legal system uh, they have their hand in a lot of uh, those types of endeavors. And so you really are at a crossroads. You're not quite sure which way to go, what path to take, because you feel like they know where you want to go or what you want to do, even before you say anything or do it. Yeah, see? So it's like, you're. I almost feel like you have to escape at night is what I'm hearing, you know? Three of Cups. At the end of the day, you have the, the Alegria card and the Three of Cups. You'll have another opportunity, you know, at your happily ever after. Whether or not you want it to be with this person and get counseling and fix things between the two of you is one thing. I'm also hearing restraining order. Um, restraining order, I think that if you go for a restraining order, I kind of don't feel like you're going to get it, to be honest with you. You haven't fully proven your case because that's how much influence they have they they really do feel like they have the upper hand and if it's not you it's the other way around um yeah see i'm telling you they have a lot of legal uh judiciary influence they know all these political people all these people in the legal system you have to be careful You've already, yeah, you're done. You've been there, done that. I, you're just like, I just can't go through this anymore. Whatever they want, it's theirs. I'm not going to fight them anymore. That's what I'm hearing from you. That's what I'm hearing. 
like like uh, it's not a fair fight it feels as though um they're gonna have the upper hand no matter what happens where i go where i move to they will find a way you might be dealing with like a stalker a very toxic person there is a need for forgiveness here i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love I know you're going to be like, how the heck am I supposed to forgive someone like this? Purpose. I know what I am here to do. So part of this is discovering your life's purpose while going through this journey, while dealing with this type of energy, this type of person. And health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. That also means be careful when you're drinking, driving, any toxins, any outside um you know type of energy so wisdom of the oracle what message Ooh, time for a nap so that little fox looks very peaceful however i feel like this is definitely that seven of swords energy waiting for the attack i know the time for the nap card means it's time for you to really take a break and rest recover uh refocus and have your action plan and i think feel that with this card it is telling you like i said be prepared for the unexpected they may come back with something even sneakier downright dirty than you ever thought they would and you have the card of higher power you are being guided by a higher power your intuition your guides your guardian angels they're giving you a leg up here they're they're giving you that forewarning and if it was it it was if that forewarning was in the way of this reading by letting you know, like you, you just came across my reading, then take it as it resonates, as a, a form of assistance for you, okay? One more card and then I'll move on to the next deck. This is Fated, Fated Intervention from the Divine Source. They are coming in to help you. This also helps you to um, encourage and strengthen your spiritual ties with your higher self, higher source, how you go on from healing. It really does start with taking care of yourself, the, you know, eating clean, no drinking, no uh, outside toxins, that type of energy, getting really clean with everything in your life in order to have a clean slate. I want to say one of your readings did say something about uh, a clean slate like that. I will link it here if I remember which one it was or if I remember to link it. So what does Sagittarius need to heal from here on out? They need to accept support and set the intention to be open to receiving health, help, support, healing. You know, support doesn't necessarily mean going to a support system, a support group. It can also mean divine intervention, you know, support from a higher power that, that steps in and helps you helps you get through this to help you get a leg up to give you you know an idea of what's going to happen so that you are prepared so that you don't get taken for a ride so that when this person that you never thought would play dirty with you would fight dirty with you so that you are prepared for it and when you get there it doesn't phase you and the fact that it doesn't phase you because you're prepared for it you know, and you're you're preparing for that type of energy to come your way and you resist it and you block it and you send it back their way, it shocks them. And so move forward with truth and integrity with the situation, especially around children, okay? Don't try to turn around and fight dirty back, but instead fight back with the truth. Your spirit guides are listening you, to you, okay? So spirit is listening to you. They're guiding you. They're sending you the emotional healing, the mental clarity. Clear your crown chakra. Use some amethyst. If you do some meditation, put amethyst on your crown chakra on the top of your head. Ask spirit to help clear any energetic debris, any blockages of your crown chakra to be able to communicate and clearly receive messages from higher source as to how you move forward from here and know that Archangel Michael is here to protect you. Ask Archangel Michael to step in, protect you, your children, your family, and shield you from any harsh energies or any repercussions of somebody else's dirty work, especially if you stand in truth and integrity and you own what you, you know, who you are and what you stand for. Okay, so let's close this reading out with um, 
a focus message of advice. Five of coins. So someone may be taking you for your money. Three of swords. Yeah. They, I feel like this person, if you are going through a divorce or separation, child support, they want to take you for every dime you have. And although you may have a previous agreement of, you know, um, uh, I'm okay with only giving me a couple hundred a month. You don't have to worry about uh, alimony either. Just child support and just help me out with this bill with child care or whatever. And then you get to court and they're like, nah, boo, I want all your money. All of it. I want spousal support. I want this much for every child. And 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 because you you left me with this car payment, I want you to pay for it. Like it's that type of energy. You did not think that they would come at you with that. So one more card. I want to know what does Sagittarius have to be aware of moving forward? Listen, in order for you to protect your finances, your assets, your path moving forward, it does require a great amount of strength. Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card, knowing that your financial and material needs are protected, they are there. I know that this person might scare you with what they're asking for, and you might want to fight dirty back when you're there, but be honest and truthful with yourself, with the higher ups, and just say, listen... I have documented all of this. I don't know where they're coming from with that or I don't know where they, they get off saying this and that. Have your proof come from a place of truth and integrity and you will survive this. You will win this, okay? So Sagittarius, that is your crazy ass freaking reading for April. <laughs> Check out your weekly readings. I will upload here. I will link the weekly playlist so you can check out every time a weekly reading goes up for you. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Every sign, okay, let, I keep forgetting to say this because I used to do this when I first started my channel, but I'm bringing it back. So the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a bonus reading the following month. So make sure you hit the thumbs up, you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of the month. Your love life reading is coming next. Take care. Bye.